in the midst of a vivid dream, we find ourselves immersed in a fantasy world, fully absorbed in the character we play. It all feels so real, and even emotions arise as the dreamscape becomes our soul reality. Open your eyes. All of a sudden, as consciousness stirs, a shift takes place. Our dreamt persona vanishes, and we are left with the realization that our character, with its joys and sorrows, was but a fleeting creation of the mind. The philosophy of non-duality states that in what we perceive to be waking life, we also cling on to a false identity, much like the dream state. Within the waking world, we identify intensely with the temporary character that we play. We are lost in the dream of me, fully immersed in thoughts, in feelings, and in the continuous unfolding sequence of events that play out in our life. Akin to being immersed in the false identity of our character in the dream world where everything appears to be so real, we also perceive this world around us to be our singular reality where again everything seems so real. And who's to say that the waking life and the dream life aren't real? However, Nonetheless, we are capable of waking up in our dreams, and this is what is known as lucid dreaming. Similarly, in the dream of earthly life, we are also capable of lucid living. Lucid living represents a shift in consciousness, where we are still very much in the dream, but not of the dream. Lucid living is a shift in identity. It is liberation from the limits of the mind, where a broader perspective is realized. It is where anything is possible, and it is the embodiment of freedom as a truer sense of self is realized. So what are we beyond the dream? What is the bigger picture? Well, in order to wake up to a greater, larger sense of self, we must first investigate what we are not so that we can better realize and remember what we truly are. In order to fully awaken out of the dream of lucidity, we must first realize the nature of the dream itself so that we may disentangle our identity from it. So what gives birth to our false identity in this world? Ramana Maharshi says, our identification with the mind and body is the chief reason for our failure to know our self as we truly are. In daily life, we are lost in identification with thought. So, we derive our sense of self from that chattering voice in the mind, from those moving concepts in the mind, and we don't stop thinking. The mind just goes on and on with its relentless storytelling, and we blindly believe what it says. However, we are utterly entranced by the mind. We are simply dreaming in the world of thoughts. In meditation, we learn to watch the inner world. We see thoughts, sensations, and feelings come and go. In our seat of observation, we realize the witness, the one that watches, and so the disidentification process unravels itself. If there is a consciousness that witnesses, thoughts, how can thought be representative of our entire identity? So you see, in this heightened perspective and this broader awareness as the witness, thoughts, feelings, sense perceptions and life events, they come and go much like the fleeting content 
of the dream itself, while the underlying witness consciousness remains ever present and unchanged. This silent, unconditioned witnessing presence appears to be the only constant in a world of change. It must therefore be more representative of our true nature. Maharaj says, do you realize that it is not you who moves from dream to dream, but the dreams flow before you and you are the immutable witness? No happening affects your real being. That is the absolute truth. In order to make this shift in awareness and to actually sit as the witness of the content in the dream of life more and more, then we can really learn to expose the false persona and actually bring this witness consciousness into the forefront of our awareness more and more on a daily basis. And this is done through constantly just turning our attention inwards to the inner world and working with the mind. It's done through engaging in self-inquiry and actually making it a committed and consistent practice to quieten the mind, giving up that relentless, incessant thinking. It is within a busy mind that we are lost in identification with it. However, it is within inner stillness that we can truly realize the nature of self. As Rumi said, let the waters settle and you will see the moon and the stars mirrored in your own being. Inner stillness can be found right now in any moment. Recalling memories from the past and envisioning future events are akin to dreams because it is all just a projection in the mind. They're not actually happening. The realest thing that we have in the dream of life is the moment itself. When you wake up out of the trance of thought and into the moment, into an alertness, into the position as the witness, in that sudden shift in consciousness, you are waking up in the dream. The more you choose presence, the more you learn the art of lucid living. Waking up in the dream doesn't mean rejecting or dismissing the experiences of our human life, but rather experiencing them more fully in the present moment whilst also recognizing that the essence of who we are stretches way beyond the limited identity that we so often cling to on a daily basis. When we live a lucid life aware of the illusion, then we actually learn to enjoy life without the fear and attachment. We actually just learn to flow with life and accept the thoughts and the feelings and the external experiences as they unfold. Such experiences, they kind of, they lose their all-consuming heaviness as we really see and sense that bigger picture. And as a result as well, we kind of just take life a little less seriously. As we walk the spiritual path and undergo the disidentification process, over time the ego and its small sense of self begins to crumble. The essence of who we truly are is recognized. We wake up within the dream of the individual sense of self created by the mind and body, and we realize an awareness beyond the dream of separation. We sense a unified consciousness and interconnectedness with all that is, where all is one and nothing separates us from anything else. The dream of separation may be the most vivid, intricate and immersive dream of all. However, once you start to realize that you are dreaming, then you are already beginning to wake up within the dream. Eckhart Tolle says that to awaken within the dream is our purpose now. 
when we are awake within the dream, the ego created earth drama comes to an end and a more benign and wondrous dream arises. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Jasmine. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye 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 bye. Oh.